Hello, I'm Dr. Nice Goat, and welcome back to another edition of the Wound Care Window. We're here at AZH Wound Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I'm going to take a, a few minutes to share some uh, really great news. So I'd like to introduce one of the key players of our staff, the guy behind the camera most of these episodes. This is uh, Mr. Brandon Hoffman. How you doing, Brandon? I'm doing well. And Brandon joined us a couple years ago as a fledgling MA, uh, undergrad, uh, in uh, biology. Uh, try and get into medical school, right Brandon? Correct. And you got some experience here? Yes, a lot. Did some research? Correct. And you got good news to share with the world, don't you? Yes, I've been accepted to medical school at Marion University College of Osteopathic Medicine in Indianapolis, as well as I will be uh, in the, I will be receiving the Health Professional Scholarship from the U.S. Air Force. Oh, congratulations, Brandon. We are so happy for you, although we are incredibly uh, worried about what we're going to do when you're gone. You have been such a key player here at AZH, and you're going to be sorely missed. Well, I will miss the AZH staff as well. I've learned a lot here, and I know I will take everything I've learned and uh, hopefully uh, take these experiences and help my patients in the future. Well, Brandon, good luck to you. We know you're going to make a great physician, and hopefully here at AZH we've helped in that a small way. But I would like to introduce Brandon, too, maybe. Brandon's replacement. We have found another young man. This is Mr. William Guns. William, how are you doing? I'm doing well as well. And you've got a similar story to Brandon. You're trying to get into medical school as well. Yep, I'm where he started. I'm applying to medical school, hoping to get in. And, um, and this is your orientation day, first day at AZH? Correct, correct. And uh, you're going to be heading down the same path, and I thought hopefully we'll have good news to share regarding your acceptance into medical school in the very near future. Hopefully. So, one of the things we do here, William, is we do some teaching. So, William, what do you see here? I see, I don't see any open, it's a closed wound, right? Yep. Is this normal or abnormal? It looks too yellow. Abnormal? Abnormal. That's a lot of callus there. So, this young lady has been in the clinic a few times for the management of a diabetic foot ulcer. And uh, these ulcers tend to heal over and form some callus. And uh, that's a concern. Uh, when you have this much callus, uh, that's typically a problem for diabetics. Um, so, what do you think about this area here? Is this more red than you might want to see it? Yes. Yeah. And so, when I touch this area, does that hurt you? Mm -hmm. Huh? No. How about right in here? Yeah. Yeah. So, the redness is inflammation. Uh, tenderness and inflammation um, together are concerns for uh, infection uh, and in this case we're worried about some accumulation of some fluid and potentially some pus underneath this callus so this needs to be debrided. Good job William. Well that's starting your education here at AZH. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and I like to use a curette for this and we're gonna take and just skive into that area a little bit and we'll see what we find underneath. This is always the tip of the iceberg. Now, William, I've entered the cavity, and what do you see in there? Fluid. I see. Is that pus. fluid? Or is that purulence? That'd be pus, okay. And you can see how that just melts out of that cavity. Anything that's cloudy like this, it's kind of murky looking, uh, that's pus. So we're going to continue our dissection here. And what you're going to see is, once we unroof it, get rid of the callus, in fact, she has a little cavity underneath here. See that? You can see how that pus was accumulated inside there. You can see it's that, that, in, that inside, cavity yeah. there. So we're going to just keep coming around here. Take that callus all down. And his curettes work really well, his rakes. Brandon's been learning some debridement here over the last year and a half or so, and he's been helpful in that, and we'll get you there as well, William. So that when you do enter medical school, you're going to be ahead of the head of the power curve, right, Brandon? Yeah. So we've debrided, and if we look here, you can see the ulcer cavity. See where that pus was accumulating inside there, William? Mm -hmm. And the good thing is here is that 
We caught it early. It does not probe down to bone. Fairly superficial, so we're going to get this callus back under control. And this should heal up rather well. So, William, welcome to AZH Wound Center. We're happy to have you on board. Brandon, again, Godspeed, good luck, and uh, we wish you all the best. Thanks for joining us on another edition of the Wound Care Window.